Hey, what's up? How are you doing, girl? Hello, Aries. Thank you so much for checking out my general reading for you. Uh, my name is Simply Velka, and let me just go through my whole spiel, right? So I'm going to be pulling three rows for you, Aries. The first row is going to be what the current energies of what it is that you've been dealing with and uh, what have you been dealing with in the past as well. Um, your middle row is going to be the blessings that are, are what you could be coming to, where the energies are actively trying to manifest to. And then your third row is going to be uh, advice from your spirit guides, the universe of what you need to be working on this week uh, to help receive these blessings in your life, right? Because I can tell you what uh, the energies and like what's trying to manifest in your life, but it does, mean no, does you no good if you don't know how to get to them, right? How to reach those blessings. So that's just my thought process behind it all. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be shuffling for your last row now, Aries. Um, if this reading is a resonance and gives you a sense of direction, though, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Um, and if it does give you a sense of clarity and gives you a sense of direction, Aries, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help my channel out a lot and I would, do, would appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's just jump into your reading right now. I'm going to be pulling clarifiers as I see fit. I have a bunch of cards around me, so I'll be pulling what I feel is necessary. So Aries, for you, I see a bunch of air cards and I usually associate this with a little bit of depression, right? I feel like you've been kind of been going through it right now, Aries. You're kind of just tired. Something happened, perhaps. Um, and you're just like frustrated or like disappointed. I'm feeling like some disappointment. I don't know if it's disappointment in yourself, disappointment just at the situation, disappointed at a person, disappointed of where you've ended up. No, just some type of like disappointment and just like feeling stuck perhaps. Maybe something recently just hasn't worked out for you, Aries. Um, I say this because for your first row, we have five of air. I'm going to read off the card to you. An anonymized choice, learn what you can from the situation and review everyone's motives. So usually this kind of card comes forward when like, um, one, like you might be frustrated that someone's not uh, showing interest to you. Uh, two, this could be like you shot your shot towards somebody and like, they just kind of give you the cold shoulder. Um, the, or it could just be like an attempt at a project and it kind of, you had, you, it didn't turn out in the way that you anticipated it. You know, you put something out there and it's just like you thought it was going to hone a certain result and it just didn't. Um, and so you're kind of frustrated uh, about it. Kind of was just didn't pan out in your kind of way, right? Because you have the nine of air talking about expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights for some people it just popped in my head that some people they like that's what they think is going to happen almost so it's like this hasn't even happened yet this is what you tell yourself <clears throat> would happen as if like it would it would be a flop so that's your justification so that's why like you're having these sleepless nights because you're just not doing anything because you're convincing yourself of like this worst case scenario basically aries and so because of this, like, you just, nothing ever happens. You don't reach for the stars, Archangel Jophiel for you, for your last card in your first row. Uh, 17 equaling to 8, write that down for numerology, Aries. Uh, your star card, let me read this as well. Happy times, make positive, optimistic, long-term plans, you're on the right path. So really how this is summing up to me right from the get-go, without me even pulling any clarifiers for you, uh, Aries, is that you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do, and if it like if something didn't work out, keep on trying. Just because it's like a little bit difficult initially, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing something wrong. It could just simply mean that it's going to take a little bit more work on your part. You know, if you don't choose to do something because you think it's going to just work out that poorly, then like that's what you're going to manifest. You know, I'm going to just be blunt with you. Aries because I feel like that's just like what you need right now you need to open your heart up to the possibility um right queen of water for you queen of water queen of cups for you queen of cups you need to open your heart to this possibility you need to even accept that you could be abundant or like you know have ha have good positive things happen in your life this is never going to happen for you Aries until you fix your mindset in this way because manifestation like you can manifest positive things in your life and you can manifest negative things in your life and you have to make the mental choice every single day of deciding being like okay like I'm going to make the choice of like making positive optimistic 
realistic long-term plans for my life to receive these blessings because I know I'm worthy of it, right? Four of Swords comes forward to you along with the world, uh, the wheel card where it's like, uh, maybe for some people, maybe for some of you, um, Aries, like you kind of have been shaken a little bit because there was like a little bit of distrust that's happened. Maybe someone like, uh, something happened or where it's just like, because there's like, with the five of air talking about reviewing everyone's motives and the four swords coming in with the, uh, the, uh, where is it? The wheel card. It's almost as if like someone kind of acted out a character in your life and you just don't know what to do now. You kind of just like flustered. Um, and yeah, let's just pull some Oracle cards real quick for this last row to wrap this first row up. So that's the current energies that you're kind of dealing with. So I feel like I kind of already covered what you should be kind of doing with this, right? But let's see if Oracle has anything more to say. Waning moon, what it is, what is it that you need to release? You know, so this doesn't tell you what you need to release. You know, notice in this entire time, like I have no, y'all, if you've been with me for any kind of, kind of time, like I have no problems when, when the reading says cut a bitch, I will tell, oops, I don't know if I should have cussed. When a, when a reading says to cut someone off, cut, I have no problem saying cut off that connection. But like this car, like I haven't told you to do it, directly do it because I feel like this, I mean, obviously it's like you never just like rely on me reading cards and telling you what to do with your life. But it's like, you're going to be the one to make the choice of what to do here. Like the waning mood, it puts it back on you of like, what is it that you think you need to release? Do you need to release these connections? Release these people? Do you need to upgrade your people? Or do you need to... Um, work on yourself, release um, your own issues that you have with people. Um, maybe these people are just triggering something something in you, right? So that's the question that you need to ask yourself. The new moon in Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. So if you're feeling frustrated, Aries, and that like, it's like, man, I really feel like I shouldn't have to think this deeply when it comes to these friendships, when it comes to like this like nine to five, like whatever it is, like, I promise you it's going to like, these lessons are like these little bumps on the road that you're dealing with these newest, like these new, new, what is the word? Why am I struggling with this? New, new, nuisances, nuances, new, hello. Y'all, I promise you I'm not crazy. Nuances, new, y'all know what I mean. Like the, <laughs> am I just gonna cut this out? Cause this is embarrassing low key. Nah, I'm gonna just leave it in. Regardless, you know what I mean. These like things, like minor like frustrations that you're dealing with, it's going to be worth something. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn. So let's get into your second row. Your second row, we have the Queen of Cups coming forward again. So again, it's such a push for you to open your heart to possibility, opening your heart to more things. You're being too closed off, I feel like right now, Aries, because of something that happened to you. Something shook you, um, and you need to walk away from it because it's like some good things are coming. I feel like it's almost like you have to walk away from something that at one point meant a lot to you because we have the nine of cups coming forward to you. The nine of cups coming forward to you along with the eight of cups. Is this eight of cups? This is eight of cups. Eight of cups. Eight of cups. Yeah, the eight of cups. So it's like you have all cups in your second row a lot of cups cards so it's like this is gonna be a pretty emotional week in terms of like just connections for you aries and i feel like that's kind of been like your theme for a while now aries it's like you have been working through some connections recently and it's just like you need to figure out like what it is it like these connections here are trying to teach you i feel so let's pull these couple more cards or clarifiers for you right now um so let's see, we have the Nine of Water coming in again. So the Nine of Water is really directly connected to the Nine of Cups. It's literally the same thing, just in a different suit. So it's in... And this is a good card though. Like, I know it's seeming like I'm frustrated, but it's like a... It's like something... <laughs> okay. So I pulled the Five of Water and the Renewal card, which is number 20, equaling to two for you. So write that down, Aries, for numerology. So how I'm processing this with all these clarifiers right now, um, it's like you have the Queen of Cups, you're asking to see your possi see more possibility. And I pulled the Five of Water for you, where it's like crying over closed milk, uh, spilled milk. And so it's like, you need to open your heart and realizing like, something that you had to let go of, go of are those like three broken glasses, right? You know, you're frustrated with that, right? 
it's a connection that you maybe had to release or it's a connection that's challenging in ways or like making you realize things about yourself that you just were not prepared for like whatever it is some type of connection that you had to really really come to terms with at some point right and that what you've been currently dealing with this could be like a work situation whatever right um you need to oh, there's such a push for you to open yourself up and expanding like your reach on something moving on from like something that you just have not wanted like something that you haven't wanted to let go of you know and so this could be like a person this could be like you know it just, just something that you just quite haven't wanted to let go of and you're being pushed to let go of it you're constantly like, you're trying to tell the universe what it is that you need to manifest what it is that you want in your life but the universe knows better and it's like nah -uh, we're gonna tell you like we're gonna give you what you need right and it's finally once you choose to finally peacefully walk away and like walk away from these seemingly filled cups and you trust in spirit that's when these blessings come forward right then like nine of water nine of cups same exact card let me read it read off the nine of water so you can really feel fully appreciate what this means with your wishes come true concerns fade away a love life so just overall beautiful like this is such a like a these two nine of water cards is like the buildup of like a sun energy sort of thing where it's just like you're getting what you want um so yeah that's just like kind of just like trusting in the divine at this point right now aries that's what i would say trust in your spirit guides right now because it's like once you learn like once you figure out what it is that you need to release like things are going to be so beautiful for you like that's like once you release and make space like <laughs> spirit has so much coming to your way so you have the peacock card let yourself stand out and be noticed you have the cheetah get clear on your intentions and stay focused um the wolverine card you are a lot tougher than you think you are which i feel like really is a good summary for what you're currently going through you need that good reminder and the prayo card just comes forward letting you know that your spirit guides are trying to guide you so it's like back to what i was saying like your spirit guides are really trying to give you these blessings right now you just have to be receptive towards it you have to be able to um have space or not have space just trusting them being able to trust in like where they're trying to take you uh, Aries. So for your last row we have, which is what you need to be working on for this week to receive the blessings, you have the Hierophant, which is higher knowledge, you're kind of like coming to consensus on something, coming to terms with something, the Six of Swords, and the World card. So these three cards right off the get-go, like are telling me, like this is kind of like the summary of where it's like a, you're getting a higher knowledge on something, better perspective on something that like you have you're doing something that you didn't want to originally do you didn't see yourself doing and that's like because of this it creates your world and it seems like it's a bad thing right because that's just the nature of necronomicon but it's like the what you the least expected is what's going to give you those blessings basically and so it's really asking you to just like open yourself this week open your heart this week aries and things will really open up for you i promise you that's really the overall reading that i have for you i'm going to see if there's any more clarifiers that want to come out i'm not feeling like there's any more for you um but yeah aries i really hope this reading was helpful to you um really good reading for you overall i just feel like yeah it's gonna be the title of this video really it's just like open yourself up aries because once the world opens like once you open up the world will open up and respond to you as well right like remember like what you put out in the world is what you're going to be manifesting right um angel assistance your spirit guides are really making it known that they're around you right now aries so reach out to them absolutely uh that is the reading that i have for you aries thank you so much for allowing me the privilege to do this reading for you i hope this gave you a sense of uh direction and clarity if it did please again remember to give me a like and subscribe because it does help me out so much um but i hope i do get the opportunity to provide another reading for you at some point aries i love you so much bye